That was a record. I think it was a record. I've had good service, but I've never had anything like that. I look up, the guy is already gone. <laughs> ah, we love you with the red shirts. So now the Democrats are making a pathetic bid to save Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe Bob. And you know what? I'd love to run against him, to be honest. Anybody like that, if you can't beat him in a debate, you got a big problem, folks. Big, big. You can't beat him in a debate, you can't be president. Because what are you going to do against President Xi and Kim Jong-un? You can't beat Sleepy Joe. But now we're going to meet with Kim Jong-un. I don't think so. But he's totally owned and totally controlled by the Washington swamp for many years. Two months after President Obama put Joe in charge of Ukraine policy, they put Joe Biden in charge of Ukraine policy. Listen to this, and the press will not write it. They say, in totally unsubstantiated charges, every time they talk about him, President Trump has said that his son walked away with a fortune. Now, you know that's a totally unsubstantiated charge. Really? It's not unsubstantiated, it's fact. Joe's son, Hunter, got thrown out of the Navy, and then he became a genius on Wall Street in about two days. <laughs> By the way, whatever happened to Hunter? Where the hell is he? Where's Hunter? Hey, fellas, I have an idea for a new T-shirt. I love the cops, but let's do another T-shirt. Where's Hunter? Where is he? Here's Hunter being examined by Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd or some of these people. Hunter, uh, it's so great that you're here, sir. Um, Hunter, I know they're giving you approximately $168,000 a month. I hear they paid you a big check of $3 million. I just want to speak on behalf of NBC, who's absolutely one of the worst. I just want to tell you, Hunter, Hunter, I just want to tell you, I couldn't be happier for you and your family. And I, I know you don't know anything about energy, and I know it's an energy company, but I, I think they made a great deal, Hunter. And then they fly to China. And I'm dealing with people right now. They're tough as hell, those Chinese negotiators. And Hunter, who's not too smart, Hunter. He goes in, he has a meeting, he walks out in his fund with 1.5 billion, with a B, 1.5 billion dollars. These aren't the same Chinese negotiators that I'm dealing with, I can tell you. <laughs> These are not the same ones, but we are doing very well in that negotiation. Now, think of it. Where's Hunter? Okay, get, get it. So where is Hunter? I want to see Hunter ask these questions. Hunter, you know nothing about energy. You know nothing about China. You know nothing about anything, frankly. Hunter, you're a loser. Why did you get $1.5 billion, Hunter? <laughs> And your father was never considered smart. He was never considered a good senator. He was only a good vice president because he understood how to kiss Barack Obama's ass. Thank you. Thank you. It's true. It's true. And they're always saying the same thing. Yeah, he got a billion five. We admit it. They admit it. There's nothing. But always that same thing. 
President Trump made a totally unsubstantiated claim about Hunter Biden and his father. It's not unsubstantiated, you crooked son of a gun. It's 100 percent true. Even the smart guys on Wall Street, and I know all of them, they are smart. They've never seen anything like that one before. I've called them. Does that ever happen? Never happens. Guy walks in, no experience, no nothing. Walks out with a billion five. Gee, flies in on Air Force Two with his father, the vice president. Don't forget, that's when he was vice president. So China gives his son 1.5 billion. How would you like to have Joe Biden take over negotiations right now with China? I don't think so. I don't think so. Meanwhile, Biden allowed China to rip off America for eight years as vice president, and Barack Obama let him just rob us blind. And we're not doing that anymore. Those days are over. The Bidens got rich, and that is substantiated, while America got robbed. That's what happened. Sleepy Joe and his friends sold out America. They didn't have tough negotiations. I look at these trade deals, and I say, who the hell could have done this? If you didn't, if you had no business instinct, no business ability, if you had nothing, if you're dumb as hell, you wouldn't make these deals. They're so bad. I say, who made these deals? Who made these deals? But we're ripping them all up and redoing them, and they're going to be very good. Wait till you see what happens. In And now that I'm your president, you see it. America is winning again, and we're respected again as a nation. It just came out as I'm walking on the stage. Hard to believe, actually. It turns out that Joe Biden was vice president. He worked with the so-called whistleblower. This is nothing but a partisan witch hunt, sabotage, and I'm sure they're going to say it's totally unsubstantiated. But one of them wrote the story. Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. That's very nice. That's really good. That's the way you should do it. Good, good, good. In the twisted worldview of Democrats and the media, it's okay for politicians to ship our jobs to foreign countries, flood our communities with drugs and crime, and enrich themselves at America's expense. Their treachery is allowed because they go along with the rigged Washington game, and it is far more rigged. When I ran, I thought it was rigged, but this is crazy what's happening. But if you refuse to bow or bend to the Washington swamp, which I could do very easily, I'd be much more popular. Folks, I'd be, it would be so much easier. You know, very smart, I gotta tell you. I got to tell you, isn't it much better when I go off script? Isn't that better? So much better. So much better. It's just, it's just.